several activities that will take place on board uh, for the crew. Uh, they'll begin to power up the two remaining auxiliary power units. Uh, those are generators, uh, one of which was started prior to the engine firing uh, that supply power to the hydraulic systems on board that operate the shuttle's elevons, uh, rudder, and speed brake, its uh, aero surfaces. They'll also uh, begin uh, maneuvering the shuttle to the proper orientation for its first encounters with the atmosphere, that uh, with the nose angled up about 40 degrees and wings level to control heating on the spacecraft, uh, using the thermal tiles on the bottom of the spacecraft to control heating as it begins its initial descent into the upper extremes of Earth's atmosphere. As Columbia descends into the atmosphere and approaches uh, the continental United States, it'll begin a series of four steep banks that uh, it will follow through its approach all the way to the Kennedy Space Center. Those uh, perform to dissipate speed as it uh, descends and uh, air pressure builds. Also, uh, as it descends, its steering jets will control its orientation at first. Uh, they'll gradually be turned off, uh, turning control of the spacecraft uh, over to aero surfaces. Uh, as the shuttle transitions from spacecraft to aircraft, uh, its elevons and ailerons and rudder will become active. Columbia beginning a maneuver uh, to position it uh, for its first encounter with the atmosphere. We copy. The crew will also begin uh, dumping excess uh, reaction control system propellant from the forward reaction control system steering jets, uh, those by firing the jets uh, to dump that propellant uh, prior to, prior to uh, its encounter with the atmosphere. For Columbia's descent uh, on the flight deck at uh, the commander's seat, uh, Rick Husband, pilot uh, Willie McCool to his right. Uh, in the center seat, uh, aft center seat of the flight deck is flight engineer Kapana Chavla. Seated on the flight deck uh, for landing as well is a mission specialist Laurel Clark. On the mid deck, the lower deck of Columbia for landing, payload specialist Ilan Ramon of the Israel Space Agency. Mission Specialist uh, David Brown and uh, Mike Anderson, Payload Commander. Six, three seconds. Copy, six, three seconds. That's a call that uh, the forward reactor control system jets will be fired for about 63 seconds to dump all excess propellant uh, from them before uh, encountering the atmosphere. Columbia's uh, descent toward Florida will take it across the uh, breadth of the continental United States. It'll cross the west coast of the United States above the San Francisco Bay Area of California, providing a spectacular sighting opportunity for persons in the uh, San Francisco and Sacramento, California Bay Area. For uh, the San Francisco area, Columbia should first become visible about 5.51 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, be visible for about uh, four minutes from San Francisco and Sacramento, an elevation of about 78 degrees in the pre-dawn sky of California, uh, almost directly overhead of that area. It'll also be visible from Las Vegas as it continues its descent across the southwest United States uh, at an elevation of about 22 degrees from Las Vegas visible there about 5.54 to 5.56 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. A minute or so later, it'll become visible from Albuquerque, New Mexico, uh, moving to the south of Albuquerque, and also uh, above Flagstaff, Arizona, just before that. It'll move into sunrise as it uh, continues east across the United States uh, toward Florida, headed toward a touchdown there at 8.16 a.m. Central Time.
propulsion officer here reports that uh, dump of propellant through the forward reactor and control system jets on Columbia is in progress, uh, that uh, going as planned. The crew also soon will start uh, the two remaining auxiliary power units on board, those uh, two generators that will join a third that uh, was started prior to the engine firing that began the shuttle's descent to generate power for the shuttle's hydraulic systems during the entry and landing. About uh, 17 minutes away from Columbia's first encounters with the atmosphere, that occurring in altitude of about 75 miles above the Pacific Ocean to the north of the Hawaiian Islands. Mission Control Houston, uh, Flight Dynamics Officer here in Mission Control, Richard Jones, uh, continuing to discuss uh, runway options and uh, approach for Columbia, uh, the best possible approach for the shuttle landing facility. Columbia currently targeted toward a landing on Kennedy Space Center runway 33, end of the shuttle landing facility runway. Uh, discussion uh, as to whether or not uh, that may be switched to runway 15, uh, that uh, decision expected uh, as Columbia continues its descent. There's no issue with making that decision uh, as Columbia is descending. Uh, that's been done uh, during previous shuttle entries as well. The flight dynamics officer oversees uh, the trajectories of the shuttle and its uh, flight as it uh, enters the atmosphere and also uh, during launch.